Greetings all. I was all set not to release a video this week with Christmas being just around the corner, but I just couldn't resist when I heard that a highly anticipated release was well released. We are taking a quick look at DOS Box Pure, which has just been released as a RetroArch core, as a public preview. It also ties in very nicely to a series of videos being produced by YouTubers big and small this month called DOS Semba. You've guessed it, videos released in December covering any and all aspects of DOS. I have included a list in the description. Now, I must admit I missed out on a lot of DOS and PC gaming. I wasn't playing games much at that point, so it has always been a treat in recent years to be able to go back and fire up some classic titles using DOSBox. Although DOSBox isn't particularly hard to set up, I am thrilled to say that the DOSBox Pure Core for RetroArch is set to make things even easier. It has the ability to load games directly from zip files, which helps keep the structure of your DOS game folder super tidy. Another great feature is a lot of the configuration is automated, including keyboard and mouse and joystick controls. Bear in mind this is a very early public preview, but results are pretty good. DOSBox Pure is also able to utilize sound fonts for MIDI music if you provide them yourself in the RetroArch system folder. You can also rewind and use save states in DOS games. Amazing! To get this up and running, you need to head over to the DOSBox Pure GitHub page and download the binary files and manually place them in your RetroArch Cores folder. Don't forget to place the info file in the correct folder or RetroArch won't see it. Once this is out of the public preview stage, I'm sure it will be available to select in the regular way in the core download section. Navigate to your zipped DOS games and select the appropriate file. Select DOSBox Pure as the core and all being well, the game should start up without issue. Let's look at a few examples.
spend more money. What a great way to end the not so thrilling year. I really recommend taking a look at this project. Not everyone has the ability or the space to have a dedicated DOS machine, so this is an ideal solution. Also, if it's working this well at such an early stage, then I can't wait to see what it has to offer in the future. I have included a link to the GitHub in the video description. And so, until next time. Have a good one and bye-bye.